What's up guys, I'm Hendo and today I'm showing you how to make Maya's outfit from Borderlands 2. I'm going to cover cell shading, the top, the pants, the belt, and the pouch, and you can find each section timestamped in the description. I already have my pants and leotard basically ready to paint. The pants I got from Amazon, I actually just ripped off the left pocket and added it to the right to make it more accurate. The leotard I patterned and sewed myself. I've also just taken a yellow leotard and painted it, which looks like this, but it doesn't stretch or move well and you have to paint the entire color on. It's actually easier to just have the fabric be that color and add the shading, so for the super legit version of this cosplay, I'm gonna do it with a full scratch pattern. But if you aren't an experienced sewer, it's still easy to just paint a whole yellow leotard. First, we're gonna talk about what cell shading is. It's basically a type of design rendering that makes 3D graphics look flat and 2D. Usually this is to mimic a comic or cartoon look. Often, the shadows and highlights appear more blocky rather than blended. And sometimes there are bold black outlines that make it look even more cartoony. But for some reason, there's a lot of debate about whether Borderlands is actually cell shaded It technically isn't because the textures are hand-drawn. But for all intents and purposes, the style looks like what we call cell shading so that's what I'm gonna call it. So now that I know what cell shading is, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. First, I'm gonna start with the pants. First, I'm gonna put on the pants and mark where the gray part should go, matching each side as best as I can. And really quick, this is just me seam ripping the left pocket and pinning the flap to the top of the right side. This makes it look a bit more accurate. Now I'm taping off the area that I'm gonna paint gray. Try to make both sides match and really press down the masking tape so that it blocks off some paint. And this is just some watered down gray textile paint. It took about three layers to get as gray as I wanted. And now I'm adding dark gray to add some shading. I'm mostly sticking to places that would have shading naturally, such as the edges by seams and places where the pants would fold. I'm doing the same to the blue section using watered down black and gray. Now it's time for that black outlining. I'm gonna outline every seam as well as some of the sides of the shading spots. Adding hatch marks will also add to that cartoony effect and is definitely a staple of the Borderlands style. I'm also adding some stitch marks. Finally, I'm adding some light gray highlights to some of the edges of the details and some of the creases. Now I'm gonna move on to the leotard. I've already mapped out where to color block by using a blue washable marker that's actually made for fabric marking. It'll come off super easily with a damp cloth. And now I'm just looking in a mirror and outlining the sections to paint. The best way to make sure that the paint doesn't crack is to actually just wear the leotard and paint it while the fabric is already stretched out. This may ruin your bra, so make sure they use an old one. And now I'm filling in the dark gray sections. Once the color sections are down, I'm gonna go back and erase those blue lines with a damp cloth. And now it's time for some shading. Borderlands is characterized by rough, blotchy shading, so no need to spend time blending. I'm using watered down acrylic paint because it's easier to build color this way. It's gonna look a little darker when you put it on, so make sure that when it dries, it's the color you want it to be. I'm using a rough paintbrush to make sure that it looks stippled and blotchy. And I'm adding gray highlight to the black portions to give it a little bit more dimension. Finally, I'm adding some metallic copper to the silver parts to give it that rusty look. Now it's time for the black outlining. I'm just using black textile paint. I'm stretching the leotard out a little bit so that it's a little bit easier to paint on. For the most part, I'm just painting the edges of the color blocks as well as all the seams.
With all the sections outlined, now I can go back and add some black detailing. I'm blocking out the edges first, and it'll actually look a little more sketchy and cartoony if you don't connect all the lines. Now I'm adding hatch marks to the edges, and a few random spots and lines to the areas with shading. Maya also has a few shading lines where her boobs cast a shadow. If you don't want to freehand it, you can always go in and use that blue washable marker. I'm also adding shading to the mesh sections. If you don't have this hexagon mesh fabric, you can always use something like a silicone mat to stamp the pattern in place. I actually use this method in my Malawan gun tutorial, which will be up here when it's ready. Do all these same cell shading techniques to the sleeve as well. And to paint the back, I actually just put the leotard on backwards because I'm um, super duper cool. All the same painting techniques apply here too. I was pretty exhausted by the time I painted the back, so that's why the lines aren't super neat, but they exist. With the leotard all done, it's time to move on to some accessories. I'm gonna start with the belt and pouch. First, I'm measuring how long the belt needs to be. It actually hangs down off of her waist and onto her hip, and it only goes through one belt loop. I've sewn together a quick tube of vinyl fabric, but you could use leather or foam too. And now I'm gonna pin down my tube and sew down the edges so it lays flat. This probably isn't necessary, you could actually just stitch down one side, but I guess I did this out of habit. For the pouch, I'm cutting out a few 2 inch by 1 and a half inch blocks of foam. And I'm going to glue these together with contact cement. And now I'm going to glue a fabric wrap around the foam block. You could just paint the foam block, but fabric is going to look a little cleaner, match my belt better, and be just a little more legit. But before I glue it to the foam block, I'm actually going to sew it to the belt so that it stays extra sturdy in place. But if you want it to be detachable, you could just sew on some Velcro. And now that it's sewn to the belt, I can go ahead and use contact cement to glue the fabric to the foam. I bought a large parachute clip for the belt too, and sanded it down before painting it with gray acrylic. Then I added some light gray highlights. And now I'm adding light brown to highlight the pouch and the belt. Finally, everything gets some black outlining. And here's how it looks all finished. I used the same technique for the smaller straps on her pants. I also cell shaded a quick black glove, but apparently I forgot to film the whole thing. And I used the same painting techniques for the shoes as well. Here are all the parts together. So that's pretty much it. It's a very tedious painting build, but I love painting, so I enjoyed it about 95% of the time. I'll have a separate tutorial for the gun, face lock, wig, and makeup soon. And here's the finished look all together with props. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you want to see me make next. And until next time, I'm Hendo. Thanks for crafting with me.